What's up guys? I have a Next.js application up and running right in front of me. And if you've been following some of my other videos, you know it looks very similar. It's the one I've been working on. Uh, we have it set up with a GraphQL server and uh, Next.js is up and running too. So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do subscriptions with Next.js. Now I have done a video before on how to do it with React QL, which is uh, going to be very, very similar, but I wanted to make this too because Next.js is actually slightly different. And if you do the exact same thing as React QL, it actually won't work. So I wanted to make this video to show you guys. Now, if you just wanted to follow along and you don't have any of the other code, don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to put links to the description below and you can get the code off of GitHub and I'll link the videos if you want to see how I got this to even work. Uh, without further ado, let's just get started with this. So we're going to follow the same kind of documentation that we did last time, um, except we're going to do things slightly differently. We're going to do the same structure, but uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. So we can just go ahead and copy this. Um, this will be in the link in the description below too, so you can follow along with this and copy and paste. So uh, if you have the same project as me, uh, go to Apollo and init Apollo. Uh, if you're working on your own Next.js application, wherever you're creating the Apollo client. All right, so we're just gonna copy and paste this here. And we're also gonna paste the subscription client as well. Um, and then we can get rid of this duplicate. And we can also, before we get started coding, Go ahead and install this library. So I have already have this is the Next.js server up and running, and I have the GraphQL server up and running too. I'm going to do yarn add. Just let that run and install. Okay. So I'm going to do things slightly differently. I'm going to write out these variables. So Yuri, which is your GraphQL endpoint. This is what it is for me. Um, and then I'm also going to do the subscription and grab that here. And this is actually at a different location if you've been following me. Um, my server is running at port 3000 and the subscriptions route. Okay. Um, and we'll put that here. Reconnect, Yuri, Yuri. And cool, that looks good. We don't need this. Okay, so this code, I'm gonna get rid of the comments. This chunk of code right here, where I'm creating the uh, WebSocket client, the network interface, and then attaching the two. We're gonna move down below, and we're gonna keep these up here. Uh, you can move them down here if you wanted to, I guess. You don't. Uh, well, the year you want to keep up there, though, but the other one you could. Let's tab this over one more time. Okay. So we're actually going to change how this create function works. Uh, the reason why you have to do this slightly different is this code is run on the client and the server side. So right now, uh, it does not take a network inter... Oops. I don't know. Okay. I just hit undo on accident. Okay, so this create function we're gonna pass in the network interface. I'm gonna short case it to ni instead of uh, creating it here so we can get rid of that. And I'm just gonna put ni. Now, we're not gonna supply a, a network interface all the time and when we don't, we're gonna do network inter create network interface and then just create one with the uh, URI that we have here. But when we on the client side, we want to create that with uh, subscriptions. So what we're going to do is just pass in our network uh, interface that includes subscriptions. So what's going to happen is this is actually going to get run on the server side. This is going to run, and then on the client side, it's going to run this, which will be with subscriptions. If you run subscriptions on the server side, it gets messed up. So that's why this is an important difference between uh, doing it in Next.js and doing like a server-side rendering compared to other things. Okay, uh, now that we have this set up, it's going to be the same process as before. 
for setting up subscriptions. So we have some React code here. Um, we can just create a subscription right here. And this is just going to be our GraphQL subscription code. Um, mine is right here. I'm going to copy and paste it. So this is my subscription. Uh, so I can start listening for this query. And we're going to actually have to make this a uh, real component. Or not a real component, but a non-peer one. Kind of created into a class. Um, so let's move that over right now. React.component. And the reason why is we need to use component will mount. Uh, that way we can subscribe to more. Um, and we're going to render and then return. And we can just copy what we have here. And then we're going to say const all users, which is going to default to an array. And we get that from the props. And we can get rid of the u. And down here, we're going to call this on uppercase index. Okay, so we have uh, we actually haven't changed any of the code. We just converted this to a non-peer. It's a class now component. And now we want to add our subscription to this component and then actually call subscribe to more. All right. So first thing, let's add it to our component so we can actually even do it. So one way is what we could do is we can do GraphQL subscription. And then we could wrap it like this. So you have this guy is a, what's it called, a higher order function. That's going to return a component. And then we do it again with subscription. So it has both query and subscription. But as you can see, this can get very messy very fast. So GraphQL actually supplies a helper function, which we're going to use, called Compose, which does the exact same thing as this, but it makes it a lot prettier. So it's easier to read, edit your code. So now instead, we're going to put all our stuff here, and then we're going to call index at the end. So we can call GraphQL subscription. Oops. And GraphQL query. So these two lines of code are actually equivalent, right here and here. Like if we just did, oops, if we did const GraphQL index, these two lines would return the same code. But this is a lot easier to change, manipulate, and if we need to add like a couple more, you know, it's very easy. I can swap it out. Maybe I do add a mutation or whatever. Whereas this, I have to keep wrapping, so we'll use that. Okay, so it's added in. Now we just need to subscribe to more. So that's going to be the exact same code as what we did in ReactQL, so I'm going to copy and paste it. Um, I'll post a link to this as well. If you didn't get a chance to see this, this is just the uh, other React starter kit that I uh, did subscriptions in, and I'll explain how this works when we paste it in. So... Because we added our subscription, there is a subscribe to more function that we can actually call from our props. And we first specify the subscription, so we're going to have to change this because ours is called subscriptions. And I should actually change that to subscription. <clears throat> so, yep, okay, we, we call it subscription here. Um, and then here is the update query. Um, where we have what the previous value is, where here's what previous value is. Um, for us, it is all users, so it's that array that we have. So, and this is the new user that I'm getting. So I'm checking if we actually got some data. If not, we just return what we previously had. If we did get a new user, we're grabbing the new user, and then we're adding this new user to the front of the list. And that's it. If we did everything correctly, Subscriptions should be working. Okay, guys, problem was twofold. One, an index. I did component will mount, which is wrong. Init Apollo is all right. Everything's working in there. Um, with component will mount, um, this is wrong. It should be component did mount. Reason for this is component will mount is run on the server. 
um, and so you can't subscribe to data on the server so stuff gets messed up because Next.js is using server rendering so it'll actually be called twice and that was a problem so with component did mount this is only called on the client side which is what we need second I forgot here this should be this.props.data and that's it we are now done with this so I'll demo it real quick if you haven't seen it but yeah very important this needs to be component did mount my bad on that so okay so just give it a re refresh here so we have our list of things here now whatever I add is going to pop to the top here just the way I code it so let's say is that a Kiwi user? Hit run, and bam, Kiwi pops to the top. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, subscriptions are pretty sweet. They're a little different Next.js. There's a few little different tweaks you have to do to make sure they work. Um, but we got them working, so that's good. Um, if you had any questions or any trouble, please let me know. And also, uh, I've demoed subscriptions quite a bit, so I'm not going to go too into that, but I recommend, if you haven't seen subscriptions, play around with this. It's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.